Greg it's Miller true. had. I, 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 I'm always, I, I wish I had an IGN story. It seems like I've just always been reading, so I don't really have like that, I came here for something and something hooked me. It was just that I always went there. I used to check everything, you know what I mean? So I personally think you have the best coming to IGN story, though, of anybody ever. Oh, well, actually, physically getting Physically getting here, getting yeah. here I think, is easily the best physically getting the here. The Blizzard story when I almost yeah. died in Nebraska. Have you told us on Game before? I have to imagine, right? Well, yes. remind, remind listeners. You have, but so you want an abridged version? Yeah, yeah, remind. So I was going to... You're be, living in Columbia, Missouri. Missouri. Home of the Tigers. <laughs> M-I-Z. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, I always wanted... I went there for journalism. I wanted to do work in the video game industry forever. I finally got the chance. I got interviewed and hired. Or I, first contact to hired was less than 24 hours. Uh, and then I was, I was going to be out here in two weeks, so... I quit really, my job. I, by the way, and I, 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 I think I've said this before, but my recommendation was not to hire you. Yeah, you, what, why? What did you tell Dunham? Why not I, to hire me? I said, we already have a fat, funny guy in me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was a great. I love that story. Uh, yeah, so I packed up everything, and I had – it was just a disaster. I went, went The night before, I went and got a U-Haul, and I brought it home, and it had a little toe dolly on it or whatever. And so I packed all my stuff into this U-Haul, and I was just coming out here and leaving a whole bunch of stuff behind. And so I was going to live on Michael's floor. I was bringing out yes. just a mattress and the, some clothes, a TV, all my systems. And then uh, I was dragging my mu- – I was going to drag this Mustang behind me so that uh, I would have it. And I could either go north or I could go south. And south, it looked like they were having thunderstorms and tornadoes. North, there was always a chance of snow, but I thought I could get through it no problem. So uh, I, that morning, I wake up, and I'm sitting there reading the pamphlet on the U-Haul, and it says, oh, by the way, if you have a front-wheel drive car, this will ruin it if you put it in the little stirrups or whatever to drag it behind you. And I had a front-wheel drive car. So I freak out. They made me drive. Uh, half an hour in the wrong direction to go get a new one. I got that, and then I drove home, loaded the car, a got on the version. road. <laughs> <laughs> got in the car, got going. Uh, uh, all I listened to on the way there were Game Scoops and AFKs because that, that was the shows we had at the time. That's all I listened to nonstop on the way here. <laughs> AFK. And so uh, got up into Nebraska, and I decided I'd break there for the night because I was behind schedule. I woke up in the morning real br- bright and early, ready to go, and I come down, and it's, like, dark out, and it's all gray, and, like, a, there's a bunch of weather warnings. There's a blizzard coming through, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking, and the highway I'm on is leading into the storm, but not the center of it. Just the very tip of this storm is going to pass over the highway. And it's, it, like, by the – what I'm looking at on the Doppler radar there, you know, it's only – it's not that much. I can drive through that, and then I'll be clear on the other side. So I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to punch through this. I'm going to teach it a lesson. <laughs> so I'm going, driving in this giant car, that giant truck that I have no idea how to do. I've got to – Stupid ass Mustang behind me. I'm listening to Game Scoops nonstop, having a gay old time, just talking to myself and enjoying video games. Go, storm hits. It's horrible. Like it's it's like whiteout conditions. I'm I'm in the tip of this damn thing too. Whiteout conditions. I pass this hotel. I go three, five more miles down the road. I'm like, I, what's going on? I turn off Game Scoop to the radio. Like, get off the road. <laughs> like, no one else is on the road. I'm like, ah, crap. So I pull off at a Dairy Queen. They're like, yeah, you will not be able to pass to the next big Nebraska city. You got to turn around and go to back. I'm like, all right. Go over this ramp. Come down to do it. I Black ice. I slide past the ramp oh my that's God. my way back to the hotel. I'm like, well, no big deal. I'll continue down this road, find a parking lot, pull it. Because you can't reverse in this thing with the car behind mm. me. I'm like, I'll find a parking lot, swing around, get back on the right go. So I'm going and I'm going and I'm driving down this road and it's rural Nebraska, Butler, Nebraska, if anybody knows where that is. Driving down these roads, there's nothing. It's all farm fields. There's like one house every two, three miles. And I'm going and going and going. There's no. I'm looking for like a church parking lot, anything. There's nothing. And I'm like, well, it's getting worse. It's get, I'm get, starting to do the tip sideways, you know, from the wind. This is the abridged version. Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> I see a thing. I'm like, it, it's a circular. This is a longer than any version I know. of the story you've ever told, by the way. <laughs> it's a good story, though, right? All right is yeah, everybody having fun yeah. so far? Yeah, 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 keep yeah, going. I'm going to finish it, I swear. Okay. Right. Circular driveway. I'm like, I'll pull in there. This is my last shot. Either that or I get out of this thing and walk back six miles to the damn Dairy Queen. Pull it as soon as I get halfway through the turn, and it turned out it wasn't a driveway. It was well, it was it was just a yard that had been like worn down. I'm in mud. I'm stuck. It's a blizzard. It's a trailer. I'm in front of a trailer in the middle of Nebraska. Nothing else there. I get out sheepishly, knock on the door. This withered old man comes to the door. He's like, "Oh, I'll tow you out in my tractor." And the tractor's like the size of like a lawnmower. I'm like, "That's not gonna get this thing." And he's like, "Oh no, I'm gonna do it." And it, he does it. The tractor dies. I'm like, oh, "So I go into his house. He's a call." They can't come get me for another eight hours. So in the middle of this snowstorm, this man probably saves my life or at least keeps me from horribly endangering it. And I watch on a fuzzy antenna TV college basketball with him for eight hours. <laughs> Complete stranger in his house. What do you guys talk about? Uh, everything under the sun. Like, and it was like it was so awkward. It was like 
he was such a nice guy, but I mean, yeah. like, the house was, like, total creep show. Like, you know, like, the things that I'll, I'll always remember of it, like, I'd get on the phone to talk to family or whatever, or friends, and I'd walk in his kitchen to do it, so I'd give, you know, get some privacy or whatever. And uh, he had a griddle, you know, like where you make pancakes, but he'd make, make a bacon on it. And one of the legs was broken, and, like, it had melted the thing. So the grease would just run off and then onto the floor. And there was just a puddle of aged, aged brown <laughs> grease on the floor. Oh all the, uh, the sink had all these coffee cans in it that were filled with water. He had newspapers on top of his gas stove at all times, just on there. I went back to the bathroom, and, like, the bathroom, the bathtub, I mean, everything's just filthy and grimy, and there's all these coffee cans filled with water there, too, and at one point, he offered me coffee, and I'm like, sure, and he's like, he goes to get the coffee cup off of the top of the TV, and he's like, oh, here, oh, and it's, like, stuck, and he has to, like, take both hands and do, like, the kunk to break it off from the gunk it's stuck on, breaks it off, and he's like, well, I gotta wash this, I'm like, oh, I can do it. I don't want to feel completely out of my own. He's like, oh, okay, sure. So I start walking towards the bathroom. He's like, oh, no, no, the water doesn't work there. I'm like, oh, so where? He's like, oh, I'm going to wash it in the bathroom. And he goes in there and washes. <laughs> he washes it in the bathroom. In this, oh, it was just, it was, it was a scene, brother. It was a scene. And I had to lie to everybody because I couldn't tell him. It's so like, I'd be on the phone. I was with Katie at the time, and I'd be on the phone. She's like, so everything's all right? I'm like, oh, yeah, everything's great. She's like, well, at least you're in a nice place. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not. She's like, oh, you're not? I'm like, no. <laughs> Code talk to everybody. So sorry you, that story was so long. But you eventually you you had to turn back around, go eventually, back to Columbia, yeah, and they, then they, you flew out, ended up flying out here. Exactly. Yeah. The, they tow, they uh, they sent like a big rig tow truck deal. They did like the winch and pulled me to the street. I was like ten miles an hour, crawled back to that hotel, got a Pizza Hut pizza, went to oh, bed. That sounds, oh, so that sounds good. good. I Man, after that day, it was delicious. Yeah, I woke up the next morning to a call from my mom, and it was. It was 6 a.m. Nebraska time, so central time zone. She's in sobbing. She's like, oh, I've been watching the Weather Channel all night long. And you didn't call her the night before? No, no, no. I told – no, she was up to date on everything. Okay, she yeah, woke she me just, up the uh... next morning to say, please drive back to Columbia. I'll fl- we'll pay to fly you out if they won't, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right. I was like, I was done. I'm like, sure, no big deal. So I hung up with her, and then I called Dunham. And remember, we're two hours ahead, so it's 4 in the morning there. And I wake up Dunham. He's like, hello. And I go, wakey, wakey, sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 4 in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm not coming, sorry. Oh, man. So, yeah, I flew out here with even less possessions and slept on Micah's floor for wow. nine months. 